Hey, so today I want to give you my review of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. I've been using this for over a week now and I'm absolutely loving it. Even coming from the ever so similar Z Fold 2, the Z Fold 3 just feels incredibly refined overall. The performance is similar to that of the Z Fold 2, but the lighter build, 120Hz on both displays, and the rounded edges makes for an even greater experience throughout my daily usage. Scrolling and using this beautiful inner display on the Z Fold 3 is seamless. It's excellent in all viewing angles and is super bright even outdoors. The outer display, while some may say it's too small, it's honestly not and it's quite usable. Even having used it for almost an entire day when out on the go or when wrangling my kids, I've had no issues whatsoever with that outer display. Obviously having that larger inner display is quite the convenience when you're multitasking or simply need a larger canvas to get things done. I personally use the edge display, for example, for all my work and productivity apps so I can easily navigate throughout the work week to my required applications and when I'm done for the day, I can swipe away and get back to my personal life. Now the crease there in the middle isn't something you can escape. And as I mentioned in my 72 hours video, the crease is more noticeable on the Z Fold 3 from the two, but doesn't hinder any usage. The fingerprint scanner on the Z Fold 3, located conveniently on the power button, has been very reliable on the Z Fold 3. Sometimes I do occasionally hit that volume rocker when trying to unlock, but nonetheless, unlocking the Z Fold 3 is smooth, and I've had a really consistent experience when unlocking the device, whether using the outer or inner displays. Consuming media, whether it's reading a book or a PDF, or watching content on the Z Fold 3 is where the Fold's larger display begins to shine. There's multiple orientations that make for consuming content and even greater experience on the Z Fold 3. I love having flex mode so I can access comments quickly or just set the Fold 3 aside while I'm multitasking so the content is still there playing in the background. Having that larger display and then pinching the zoom, you just get a really incredible experience here on the Z Fold 3 for consuming content. As you can see, that hidden camera there is pretty well hidden when you're watching content. We'll talk about the camera's briefly in a little bit, but just wanted to show you, as you can see, you get a great viewing experience with that hole punch camera now out of the display. Gaming on the Z Fold 3 on the outer display is really a great experience, especially for games like Tile Hop or my other favorite, Crossy Road, where having a smaller one-handed device is even more convenient. Now, when we get to the larger, more complex games, that's where gaming on the internal display transforms the Galaxy Z Fold 3 into probably one of the best devices for mobile gaming hands down. Playing games like Asphalt 9 here is super smooth with zero dropped frames or lag, colors are bright, and every game honestly just looks so good on the Z Fold 3. Playing games also like Minecraft or Roblox is always enjoyable, but where I really love to spend my time gaming is in games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, or PUBG, all of which the Galaxy Z Fold 3 handles very well. I know there's a ton of gaming phones out there right now, but if you're seeking a truly immersive experience, then look no further than the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. This is a gamer's paradise regardless of the titles you play. It will blow away your expectations jumping right into any game. Over the last few days, I just couldn't put the Z Fold 3 down, playing quite a few hours of Call of Duty here, ranking up and just kicking back and enjoying the powerhouse performance out of the Z Fold 3. The controls in hand are comfortable. This is where I really noticed the improved weight distribution from the Z Fold 2 to now the even lighter Z Fold 3. It's the subtle things you notice with the Z Fold 3 in comparison, but it's those very refinements where it makes this Z Fold 3 a solid upgrade for me, then winding down with a classic Grand Theft Auto Vice City where it's not only nostalgic but also looks so crispy on the Z Fold 3 display. It's another great title and another great game I highly recommend, especially on the Z Fold 3 if you pick it up. It's not going to disappoint. So overall gaming, excellent experience here on the Z Fold 3. Cannot recommend gaming enough on this device. Another feature I really love on this device is wireless decks. So having wireless decks on this device is just another productivity tool that really comes in hand when you're looking for a quick desktop-like experience using your Z Fold 3. So not only do you have a phone, a tablet, you have a full desktop experience all in hand, which is just incredible. And the performance overall has been wonderful. No issues, no lag, no stutter. It's just a super smooth experience overall. And it's really sad to see that the Z Flip 3 did not have 
have this feature. So really nice to see it here on the Z Fold 3 still. The cameras on the Z Fold 3 are really good and won't disappoint. I don't have too many photos since most are of my family, but I did share a few on Twitter over the last few days if you want to check those out, all of which look pretty good. Battery performance has been decent on the Z Fold 3 considering all that it packs and offers. I love that it has 25 watt fast charging when plugged in and 15 watt when wirelessly charging, all of which the Z Flip 3 lacks. My battery has been pretty consistent through with heavier usage, reflecting 4 hours roughly on screen time to maxing out around 6-7 to seven hours with lighter normal everyday usage, which for me isn't that bad since again, it does charge quickly and if I'm on the go, my phone's usually connected to Android Auto via USB Type-C in the car. so. It gets charged throughout the day. Unlike the Z Flip 3, with the Z Fold 3, I haven't really found myself concerned about the battery or that it's going to die, interrupting my daily routines, work, etc. A few noteworthy settings, one being that you can now select apps that will adapt to the outer or inner display when opening or closing the Z Fold 3. Previously, you'd have to just select Reset App, but now Samsung is providing a way via software to enhance your app experience with their folding devices. Another setting I love is Cover Screen Mirroring, so all of my apps and home screens are mirrored from the inner and outer display, making it an even more consistent experience when switching between the displays. So as you can see on the inner display, all of my applications mirror the outer display, so that way, again, keeps it very consistent and very convenient throughout my day. So as you can see, when I open the display, all the applications there are the same as on that outer display. I prefer to use Gboard for my keyboard of choice over Samsung Split Keyboard, which I feel like I get a smoother, speedier typing experience with Gboard than I do with Samsung Split Keyboard. Don't forget to subscribe for more content coming soon. Shameless plug there. Now getting to the durability, the new hinge design, again, still very durable as the Fold 2. The overall build, still very durable. Even though I have a case on here, you really don't need one. It's a super durable device. Definitely have to hand it to them for their engineering here. When it comes to the IP rating as well on the Z Fold 3, it's really nice to have just that added protection. Taking out in the rain, etc. you're gonna have no concerns whatsoever. As you can see here, dunking mine fully in water for a few minutes there. I'm loving the paired Watch 4 Classic with the Z Fold 3, getting my notifications when I'm away from the device and then being able to act on said notifications either on that outer display or opening it up for full productivity makes for an even greater experience. So I highly recommend you Watch 4 or Watch 4 Classic paired with the Z Fold 3. So if you can't tell already, I'm loving the Z Fold 3, even coming from a Z Fold 2. The refinements for me make this a worthy upgrade and I'm always just impressed with Samsung's engineering year over year with the Fold. I plan to keep this Fold 3 for the long term, so stay tuned for the long term review a few months from now. Let me know your thoughts on the Z Fold 3 in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, take care, and stay safe.